right, we've got some Miami Dolphins news for you guys. Look, obviously, this is a Dolphins team, very talented team, disappointing into the season last year, but there's a lot of momentum heading into 2024. The big question with the Dolphins, of course, involves the quarterback position in Tua. Can he take another big stamp, long-term contract deals, things like that? But it's important to understand that what Tua is doing in compared with the Dolphins competition is really a great sign in terms of leadership, getting the team together in the right direction. For example, Tua, despite being under heavy contract negotiations and a lot of question marks there, was there from Dolphins' mandatory minicamp, while one competitor, one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history, Aaron Rodgers, famously did not attend or left early the New York Jets minicamp. A lot of people wondered if it was a big deal or not. Turns out it is, according to one all-time great player. Let's pull up this report from NBC Sports, and we'll talk about it on the other side. Former Patriots receiver Julian Edelman, who has won exactly as many Super Bowl MVPs as Rodgers, called Rodgers out for skipping the Jets' recent mandatory minicamp. I think it's a bad look for your leader for whatever reasons to go and miss a mandatory minicamp, Edelman told Colin Coward on Friday. I was with Tom Brady in his 25th year or 23rd year, and he started missing OTAs here and there, but he never missed a mandatory minicamp. I just thought it was a bad look. Exactly, right? When you're a good team, when you're a contender, when you're trying to take that next step, if everyone's there, but your leader isn't, it's a bad look. Tua was there. And I think that's going to be really important for the Dolphins as they get ready for 2024 to finally win a playoff game and take that next step. Myers, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. But first, Dolphins fans, in the comment section below, look, obviously, this is a very quarterback-rich history of the Miami Dolphins. You look at, of course, Dan Marino. You look at, of course, of Greasy, right? Obviously, it's been a long time since the Dolphins have won a playoff game. But what is your favorite memory involving a Dolphins quarterback in team history? Is it Marino winning a shootout, right? Is it the last playoff win? Is it Tua coming on strong? Is it going back to the perfect, you know, Miami Dolphins from the early 1970s? Whatever it may be, give us your favorite memory involving a Miami Dolphins quarterback and put it in the comment section below. And while you're down there, make sure you go to the description as well for a list of our recommended reading of NFL books so you can be the smartest person in the comments section below. Personally recommend Swagger by Jimmy Johnson. Great autobiography of a great college NFL coach and, of course, great commentator as well. Highly recommend. Check it out. But, Mize, give me your thoughts on this latest news involving the Miami Dolphins and Tua. Yeah, Nick, and, and I want to go back to the comparison of Tua and Rodgers I want to show, I think that Tua has taken the next step, and I think he is elite as far as leadership goes. I think he's one of the most elite leaders in the NFL because if you look at Rodgers, Rodgers is a guy who's prolific for his talent. We all know he's a great leader or a great player, but I think the questions about his leadership lately have been just because if you look at their situations, Tua, young guy, really hasn't hit his big payday yet. You know, hasn't got a contract extension. Everything is against him to not go to Mindy camp. If Tua was sitting out of mini camp, people would be like, you know, he, he's probably working on his contract, work on his deal. You know, he did really good last season. I, I, I can understand why he's out. But you look at a guy like Rodgers. Rodgers barely even played last year. I think he played all four snaps last year. You know, I, I think he's got his major mega deal from the Jets already. He's already got the money there. I think that is like a guy where if you compare these two guys, Tua is such a great leader. You look at a guy like Aaron Rodgers who's not there, I think it makes you feel grateful for what Tua is doing. Tua is being a consummate professional. Always has been. I think he always will be. This is a guy who really had ups and downs. I think the Flores years with Tua were really tough for him. He rebounded, came back. He's done great so far. Whether you want to bash him or not, I think the proof is in the pudding undeniably. He puts up the numbers. He's done a lot of great things. You know, I, I think that Tua is doing everything right here. And I think that just shows that the Miami Dolphins definitely need to go ahead and get this deal done because Tua is showing he's a strong leader. He's there even when other guys with much less reasons to uh, not be there aren't there. Tua is always going to be there for the Dolphins. And I think this just shows strong leadership on his part and just a dedication to this Dolphins team. You know, what's the old saying? The wolf climbing the mountain is hungrier than the wolf already at the top of the mountain. I think that's a good comparison right here. You look at Aaron Rodgers, who's, you know, he's an all-time great. He's he's going to go in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, undeniably so. But he he's kind of who he is at this point. He's reached sort of the pinnacle of his NFL career. Tua is trying to climb and ascend. And, and like you said, I think it's a great point. In terms of a business sense, it makes a lot more sense for Tua to not go to 
a mandatory mini camp than, and then Aaron Rodgers, right? But the fact that Tua is there sacrificing potentially some business leverage, you know, some negotiation tactics to help be a leader, to help push this team forward, I think shows a lot of the mentality you need of your franchise quarterback. You want the Brady mentality, not the Rodgers mentality. I think that's undeniably so, right? You want a guy who's willing to make team sacrifices to help you win games, maybe take a little pay cut, team-friendly deal, show up when you necessarily don't want to, Right. Brady did that. Aaron Rodgers, historically, despite his greatness, has not done that. Tua is following the Brady path, and I think that's obviously a great sign for the Miami Dolphins. But it's more interesting than that, right? The NFL is a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately league. And obviously, 2023, Rodgers was hurt, but Tua did lead the NFL in passing grade, according to PFF. But if you go back even a year further to 2022, if you look at passing grades, according to PFF, Tua was fifth in the NFL. Aaron Rodgers, right here at this list, 10th, right? So again, Rodgers was still good a couple years ago, but Tua, if you just look at what you've done for me lately, has been better than Aaron Rodgers. He was in 2022, and he probably would have been in 2023 because nobody was better in terms of PFF passing grade than Tua last year. So when you factor that into the mind, you've got quarterback, Tua, young, trying to hungry, climbing the mountain, sacrificing maybe some negotiation, maybe some potential dollars to be at minicamp to help with his teammates, and he was actually performing better than Aaron Rodgers. We're seeing a contrast here. We're seeing a difference. I think this is a great sign for the Miami Dolphins because it, it's, I know a lot of Dolphins fans are so frustrated with the end of season, but you're so close, right? You were devastated by injuries last season. You got a tough draw going to Kansas City and what minus a million degrees, the wild card round. Things will eventually break your way when you've got great leadership, when you've got quarterback play, and Tua is showing that. And that's why I think the future for the Miami Dolphins continues to be very bright.